If you like spending tons of money on every little thing when you visit Las Vegas, then turn this video off immediately. <laughs> if you're still here, then I assume you're looking for ways to save a few bucks on your next vacation to Sin City. In this video, I'm going to show you 23 of the best free things to do in Las Vegas in 2023. You will find out how to see awesome complimentary shows, where to go to get free drinks, how to find some of the best photo spots in Vegas, and how to get into one of the coolest parties on the strip without paying a cover charge. And I can almost guarantee that some of these are things that you've never even heard about before. Let's get into it. Without a doubt, the number one free thing that I'm going to recommend that everyone do in 2023 in Las Vegas is right here, this Mirage Volcano. Because ever since Hard Rock announced that late 2023, they're gonna be taking a closer look at construction plans to make the conversion to Hard Rock, this may be your last chance to actually see this. They have nightly shows to see the volcano, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 p.m. And I'm gonna miss the volcano too, because the second video I ever did on this channel was a Mirage Volcano show. Another thing to do here at the Mirage that is cool, but doesn't get a lot of attention, is this atrium with the waterfall. The reason this atrium here is not as well known is because it gets overshadowed a lot by other places like the Bellagio. However, I would definitely encourage you, especially in 2023, to come take a look and also make this a cool spot to get a photo one last time at the Mirage. If you want to get a free drink shortly after landing in Las Vegas, then head down to the El Cortez Hotel and Casino on Fremont Street in downtown. They've been running a gambling promotion for years where all you have to do is show them your printed or digital boarding pass from your flight and you will receive a free drink, $25 in blackjack match play, and anywhere from $10 up to $1,000 in free slot play. Oh, they will have another way to get a free drink later in the video. This show right here at the Win is a little bit more well known than it was a few years ago, thanks to content creators, but many people still don't know that there is an absolutely awesome free show at the Wynn Hotel and Casino called Lake of Dreams that starts every half hour at dusk. Lake of Dreams is a three acre parcel of land on the property that has a 90 foot waterfall, 5,500 LED lights, and 1,500 palm trees. I am here on this balcony where you can see the show on a Friday night, and as you guys can see, hardly anyone is out here. So you can enjoy this place, it's semi-private, to yourself, enjoy the show, have a drink, and have a great time in Vegas. To get a seat on the balcony to see the show, all you have to do is look for the registration sign here at the Wynn. Now, if you can't do that, all you have to do is just start looking around for all these amazing, beautiful, colorful flowers here because it's just next to this. And you can also have an awesome free photo spot as well. Even if you're not a nature outdoors person, you will love this one of a kind experience. Just outside of Las Vegas is a small town called Boulder City. There's a public park there called Hemingway Park where you can see bighorn sheep live. Many locals gather daily to see them come down the mountain to the open park. This is one of the more underappreciated things to do in Las Vegas, but it's well worth a visit. There's a free pool on MGM's property at Top Golf. The parking is free, entry to Top Golf is free, and the hideaway pool on the third level is free. There's no reservation system, seats are first come, first serve. It's also a great spot to watch sports, eat food, order drinks, and hit some golf balls. The pool is seasonal though, so it's typically open from March or April to about October. The best free view of the Las Vegas Strip can be found at the south end at the Delano Hotel connected to the Mandalay Bay Casino. Skyfall Lounge is on the 64th floor and provides a breathtaking visual of the Strip, especially at night. The lounge has indoor and outdoor seating and is connected to a high-end restaurant that also has amazing views. This hidden gem is one of the better kept secrets of the Vegas Valley. This scenic atrium can be found at Sam's Town Hotel and Casino on Boulder Highway. This scenic area is where you will find several walkways through the forest with a skylight ceiling to receive natural daylight, a bar area, and a waterfall with regularly scheduled water shows involving lasers, lights, sounds, and animatronic animals. For live music lovers, you have several free options at your fingertips. In the heart of the strip, you have the piano bar at Harris, as well as dueling pianos at Napoleon's Lounge inside Paris. There are two sand dollar lounges, one in Spring Mountain in Chinatown, and one inside the Plaza Hotel and Casino at the end of Fremont Street in downtown. 
And if all else fails, you can always walk Fremont Street to take in up to three different live music bands in one night. If you're someone who hates the idea of losing money at gambling, $300 gone. Well, now you don't have to. Many casinos all around the Vegas Valley offer free gambling lessons during the week so you can learn without any chance of being separated from your cash. Just Google search the name of the casino for gambling lessons and you will see results to learn games like craps, blackjack, and poker. The lessons are completely free, but tipping the instructor is certainly encouraged. There's a little known casino promotion to get a free drink at Ellis Island Casino. All U.S. active duty and veterans get one free Ellis Island beer that is available daily if you enroll at the promotions booth and show proof of a valid ID. While you're at Ellis Island, you can also take part in their regular karaoke that they have next to the casino floor. This activity is very popular and anyone who wants to sing can do so for free. Tipping the MC is encouraged. If you want to party in Las Vegas but hate the high cover charge at the big nightclubs, don't worry, because one of the most fun party environments can be found at the center of the strip at Carnival Court between the Link and Harrah's. This place has no cover charge, a variety of music, an open dance floor, stage performances, large seating booths, blackjack tables, and a bar that does multiple free pours throughout the night to give you a chance of getting a free shot. This tour is not only free, but comes with a complimentary chocolate at the end of it. The Ethel M Chocolate Factory in Henderson is a real treat for any visitor. See what I did there? You'll have an opportunity to go at your own pace on a quick tour seeing how the chocolate is made before being given a chocolate of your own. If you visit during the holiday season, you can also enjoy the beautiful Christmas light display in the Cactus Garden next to the factory. Although the tourist areas of Las Vegas are beautiful in their own right, it cannot compare to the natural beauty that creates the Las Vegas Valley. There's one little secret place just outside of Las Vegas called Blue Diamond. It's an unofficial town with one restaurant, one school, and one gas station. It is surrounded by mountains, making it perfect for hiking or mountain biking, and it's very common to see wild burrows grazing in the local park. Feel free to snap a photo, but please respect the Red Rock area and remember that these are wild animals. Did you know that you can see mermaids in Las Vegas? You absolutely can at the Silverton Hotel and Casino right next to I-15 between the Strip and the California State Line. This aquarium holds over 117,000 gallons of water and hosts daily stingray feeding shows twice a day. Although the aquarium is available for your viewing 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the mermaids do have a show schedule performing multiple times a day, Thursday through Sunday. A list of free activities in Las Vegas would not be complete without mentioning the infamous Bellagio fountains at the heart of the Strip. The fountain display spans more than 1,000 feet with water shooting up to 460 feet in the air. The shows are choreographed with different songs and take place every 30 minutes during the daytime and every 15 minutes in the evenings. Just inside the Bellagio's main valet entrance is the lobby that leads to the world-famous Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. This is one of the most iconic free activities in Las Vegas. The conservatory changes five times a year, once for each season, and again for the Lunar New Year. Just keep in mind that in order to make these changes, the conservatory does need to close for about a week to make the transition. So be sure to check Bellagio's website to see when the conservatory will be closed for preparations, because this is something beautiful that you do not want to miss on your trip to Vegas. If the Bellagio fountains make you feel like you need to go to the bathroom, one unique place to have a bathroom experience in Las Vegas is at Main Street Station Casino in downtown, just north of Fremont Street. In the men's bathroom, you can urinate on the Berlin Wall. It is an experience unlike any other. And ladies, if you would like to see that wall as well, you can. You'll just have to have security temporarily clear out the restroom for you to go and take your photos of the Berlin Wall inside the men's restroom. One of the simplest and sometimes best forms of entertainment in Las Vegas can take place in the form of people watching. There's no better place in America to have a seat and take in so many people from all walks of life enjoying themselves in one awesome destination. Fremont Street is usually a good choice for this kind of entertainment as well as any busy area on the Strip. Watch and enjoy. Millions of people drive right past this attraction every year and many don't even notice it is there. Seven Magic Mountains art installation is just off of I-15 as you are just getting into the Vegas Valley. The seven painted boulder totems go up to 35 feet high and make an excellent place to take photos. There is no admission fee and parking is completely free. 
Take your time enjoying these large art structures in the desert, but please do not write anything on them. Downtown Las Vegas has an art scene that surprises many visitors. While walking the Fremont Street area, you can find over 30 colorful murals painted in downtown. <laughs> As the downtown Las Vegas area has been revitalized in recent years, more murals have been added as well. Many of these paintings are popular photo spots to post on your social media, as well as for photo sessions after weddings. And last but certainly not least is a visit to the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. You guys didn't think I would leave this out, did you? The Las Vegas sign is without a doubt the most iconic attraction in Clark County. It's an image that just about everyone has in their head when they think of Las Vegas. You can visit the sign 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Sometimes the line to take photos does form, but don't wait in the line. Simply step off to the side to take your photo and get in and out quickly. As a bonus for watching this late into the video, I'll share with you not only how to earn more rewards points with Vegas casinos, but also how to park for free on the Las Vegas Strip. MGM Resorts and Caesars Entertainment both offer a credit card that is completely free to apply for and has no annual fee. Keep in mind that this is different than having a rewards card that you use when gambling. Having the designated credit card from either one of these companies allows you to earn additional points on daily purchases that you are going to make anyway, as well as giving you complimentary self-parking at all of their properties in Las Vegas. Resorts World began to charge for parking in 2023, but if you go into the casino and apply for a player's rewards card, then the $10 parking fee is waived. These are the 23 best free things to do in Las Vegas for 2023. Enjoy the free drinks, the shows, the additional gambling points, and the partying. If there's anything we miss, please feel free to share it down below. Follow me for the best Vegas info. Thank you for watching and wishing you all an amazing 2023. I am Jacob, and this is my life in Vegas.